I'm Queen Harrison from Richmond, Virginia, and competing is my natural high. I come from a huge family of competitors. That's how that became my natural high, to be a competitor. Just, you're just around it all the time. It just becomes a party. I used to be a basketball player before I was a hurdler like I am now. Basically, I started getting into track and field because I was born in New York and my family moved to Virginia. And when I moved down to middle school, I didn't know anyone. Everybody else had their elementary school friends and stuff. And I said, well, how can I meet a lot of people at one time? So I joined the track team initially just to make friends and get to know people in a foreign place. And it was probably the best decision I ever made in my life. <laughs> My main goal was to obtain a full scholarship to a university. And I started that game plan in the 10th grade when I quit basketball and when I decided to put all my energy into track and field. So I set that goal for myself in 10th grade. Now there were hiccups, there were ups and downs, but I think as soon as you put a goal in your head and you speak it, I say you speak things three times, okay, full ride, full ride, full ride. Okay, everything I'm doing is just gonna innately go toward me getting a full scholarship. By setting that goal it, at a young age, it allowed me to navigate around the distractions that could present themselves in high school, i.e. alcohol or drugs. My dad actually struggled with some issues with that. He was a, a veteran from the Vietnam War, and when he came home, he struggled with PTSD. Basically, he was just kind of always on edge and get flashbacks of being out there on the battlefield and those types of things you don't want to bring home with you. He got into a system of um, being able to mask it with alcohol and things and just seeing how that affected him and it, it just never was an option for me. It's, I, I, I realized that no matter how bad the feelings are, the emotions are, it's so much better to feel them than to try to numb them and not feel them. And once I came to that conclusion, I knew drugs and alcohol was never an option for me because all that will do is numb the pain or you know, give you a temporary feeling of being better. And then as soon as it wears off, what, what do you do next? You, you gotta do it again, you know what I mean? It's just never been an option for me. I always had a lot of hustle and a lot of fight in me because I always wanted to win, whether I was the best or not. So once you put a goal in your head and realize that doing alcohol or drugs is only going to take you away from that goal, it makes it so much easier to annihilate those things out of your life. Think about what you like to do, what brings you joy, what makes you laugh, what makes you have fun, whether it's singing, whether it's competing and running the hurdles, and think about how that makes you feel. Okay, so why do you need to supplement that? Why would you need to try to obtain that if you can legitimately go out there and sing or go out there and compete and get that feeling? For anybody to be successful, I think it's a direct reflection of who you surround yourself with. Put your blinders on to those negative people and don't allow them into your circle. And my number one circle is always my family, my sisters. We're so tight-knit, I cannot talk about it enough. Those are my best friends from today to tomorrow to the end because they have my back no matter what. By starting with that foundation as my circle of friends and role models and I see how they handle ups and downs. We just have to be like-minded on how we approach drugs and alcohol and realize that they are not for us and at the same time be very different in personality so that I can grow from each person. Winning the Bowerman was a, a, a huge accomplishment for me. It's a fairly new uh, award, but it means so much because people reference it to as like the Heisman of track and field. So for me to win that in 2010, it was a proud moment for me, but even more a proud moment for my parents. When I made it to the Olympics when I was 19 back in 08, I had a totally different mindset when I went to the track than I do now. I went and I think I was so overwhelmed, like I'm in the Olympics, all these people are here, and all these people are watching on television. Okay, make or break, what are you gonna do? I think about it as 
every time I step on the track, especially with the 100 hurdles, it's the same 100 meters, it's the same 10 hurdles, no matter whether I'm at my practice track here or I'm at an Olympic stadium in Rome, it's always the same. I just approach every race as, one, I look at it as a final, so I look at it to compete and be the best competitor that I can be, but at the same time, I look at it to have fun and enjoy what I do because, you know, if you're not enjoying what you do every day, it won't last as long as you want it to. My name is Queen Harrison and competing is my natural high. What's yours?